Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing well, you're happy, you're healthy, and your life is headed in a positive direction. I'm here today with the Secrets of the Mystic Grove Oracle. I just picked this up today, I'm super excited. Um, I got a couple more new decks that I'm going to be uh, using on the readings now, so that's really exciting. Um... I did already pull an overall energy for this reading. It's Unity, number 43. These really pretty flowers and birds hanging out. It says connected, Connectedness, Harmony, and Equilibrium. So I'll read a little bit more about that in a few minutes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just pull some cards. Uh, Spirit is working with me here today, and yeah, we're going to have some fun. Spirit, please give me some cards for whoever is watching. Those two slid out. Decision and Adventure, number 41 and 23. I'm going to grab a couple more cards here. Spirit, please give me a couple more cards. One more card, please, Spirit. One more. Acknowledgement. Ooh, that's a neat card. These are all really neat cards. The other two I didn't show yet. They were Seeking Knowledge and Celebration, number 15 and 31. And this last card was Acknowledgement, number 26. The Owl. Wow, lots and lots of flowers coming up as headdresses. Um, maybe you're very, uh, you love to go in nature, and that'll really help you in your journey right now. I see this flying tiger, uh, <laughs> you might be getting a really big opportunity coming up, and it just feels like you're floating on the clouds, like it's just going so well. Um, I'm getting these moss and mushrooms here, you might really love to do photography and you might uh, photograph mushrooms and flowers. A sense of adventure is coming your way or is already here and you're celebrating it with bliss and joy. Um, you're acknowledging the good moments in your life so spirit is bringing you more of those good moments. You may have a decision coming up soon here. A choice, opportunity, or selection. So it's like you're taking this this leap with this new idea. You're taking this leap on the tiger with this uh, new decision or new idea you have to make. And this decision might involve another person. In both of those cards, there's either two people or two birds. It might be a decision with your significant other. But you have the intuition to follow through with your decision in a productive and beneficial matter for all. Okay, now I'm going to read um, Unity was... The overall energy. I'm going to read what it says in the book here. Connectedness, harmony, and equilibrium. A beautiful indigo banner threads its way amongst the peonies and vines, connecting everything into one unified scene. A pair of chickadees perch while butterflies hover here and there, 
The spirit realm is represented here by the transparent creatures. This is a state of Zen. Nothing disturbs the simple peace of being. The adult birds work together in harmony to care for their young. This is an example of how we can all be if we just accept our place in the kingdom of the animals. Each gets what they need while never taking too much from others. It's a state of equilibrium we could all strive for. This is the concept of unity. So this decision that is coming up might involve your children or your family. It says, honor those in your life. Put them in their rightful spots. This is not about being ahead of others. It isn't about being right. The truth here is that the companionship you are looking for may be closer than you think. If you can stop fighting for what you think you deserve, you may find that you already have what you need. Let your focus be about the group rather than the individual. Sometimes the we is more important than the I. Take a page from the bird's book of life and flock together. Being a unified front can gain you more than being one voice alone. Wow, that was really beautiful. Let's see what else here. I want to read this one about celebration. A lady Amherst pheasant perches in the lady's hair. This symbol of good luck lends an ethereal beauty to one woman's unswept, upswept locks. She holds a robe around her shoulders as she watches for the next sign of delight to come her way. Her expectation is that life should be celebrated as a gift rather than endured as a problem. The delicate winged butterfly flits from flower to flower, reminding her to enjoy the sweetness of each moment. So yeah, enjoy this time in your life. It's a um, You might have a big decision, but you'll get through it and get to the other side of things. Um, it seems like a very positive change. So that's really good to hear. Um, I think I'm going to read one more. We have acknowledgement. The snowy owl perches in the twisting branches of an ancient tree. Moss dance about her knowing they aren't in any danger. This owl has chosen to be seen at this moment. Her power of invisibility makes her hard to find unless she wants that to happen. With soft feathers, even her flight over our heads can go unnoticed. But in this moment, she has let our eyes connect with hers. She knows that we see her because she has revealed herself. We can only acknowledge her beauty and power because we cannot control her wild-winged wisdom. Our puzzle is in how to accept this gift of seeing and being seen. So you might be stepping out into the unknown, into a career possibly that is a lot different than what you've been doing, but you have the wisdom and intuition and insight to get through it and accept the new things coming into your life. Okay, y'all, I think that's all I have for this reading. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out, and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye!